You know, when Ali Carter looks back on his record against Ronnie O'Sullivan and in 11 occasions he's played Ronnie, he's never managed to beat him in a televised match. And I'll ask you the same question that John Verger was asking. Is his safety game strong enough to hold him at bay in a match like this? Well, it, it's also, is he mentally strong enough to turn around those 11 defeats? Um, because after a while you would realise that you were being outplayed in all departments, not just the safety department. Um, he's 2-0 behind. Uh, he was 2-0 behind in, in the semi-final match, but he's 2-0 behind in a different way here. This is a guy that's just cleaning up all the time. I, I have no problem with him playing hard stuff and hard tactical stuff at the start of a frame. The only problem is, when he gets a chance, he's got to fully commit to 100% to score. Because if he doesn't score in this match, this will be he's playing a runaway train. OK, into the third of this 35 frames match. Saved it with a tap on the table from Ronnie in appreciation. And there's Ronnie's pot success 100%. You can't do better than that. 77% Ali, but he's not had that many chances to. Well, I suppose he's missed enough. So these reds are very nice to spread as Ronnie plays a perfect safety shot. To get back to the ball, there may be a possibility of a pot on. Are they just looking at those two reds? I don't think they're a plant because I don't think the second one passes the black. No, it doesn't, but uh, he can play safe off the... The red, that's the most important thing. Just got to catch it the right thickness, though. Don't let this too thin. Just a little bit thick. But with these reds spread as they are, there may not be an easy safety shot for Ronnie here. Sometimes, though, that can be a dangerous thing, can it? If you leave a, a player like Ronnie with no safety, all of a sudden he can knock one in from nowhere. Very difficult to envisage that he could leave this... Well, he can't leave the cue ball near the top cushion and get it safe. the one thing about the Crucible, no matter where you're sitting, you've got a great view of the action. So he's trying to find that path he found before. He did well to find it before, do well to find it again. He's looking like he loves the challenge of finding the right safety shot, John. And if yeah. he's enjoying it as much as that, he's what a dangerous opponent. Absolutely, and, you know, to be fair, we all know the talent of Ronnie, but sometimes he gets a little bit bored with it all, but every aspect of the game in these last, well, what, 15 days, this is the 16th day, he seems to have enjoyed and, and loved every minute of it. And if, of course, he was pr to produce that, then... Uh, Maybe he might be the man to break your record, Stephen. I think he's got every chance. As, as long as he wants to do it, I think he's got a chance. And that's the question, is he? Isn't it? Does he want to do it? Over a minute. Well, he's got a choice of a couple of reds to pot, but he's just rolling this in, it appears to me. Just hoping it goes in and then he'll play the safety, because he's never going to be on a column. But I suppose, in a way, 
That was as good as you could do, because if you'd have played one of the outside reds, nine foot ten, that goes down as a long pot. But if he'd have played one of those other outside reds, he was kissing into the black, it was fraught with danger. And the way these reds are spread, you feel one mistake lets somebody in, could be end of frame. Imperative here, he finds the bulk cushion. Not so important to snooker Ronnie by in a bulk colour, but to get the weight as tight as you can to that bulk cushion. Green ball. Ali Carter, one. Peter Ebden looking on. It's a long match, and as I say, he, he'd be, well, he would have told Ali not to get concerned. You know what you're going to get from Ronnie. Sparkling play. Just play your way into the match. Possibly that was the the advice. Well, it was only the pace that kept that out. But this time, Ronnie couldn't find a path back to the bulk end. And this red is on to the left middle. I think with this shot, you just got to concentrate on the pot. Because you being so close to the cushion, you can't manoeuvre the cue ball. No, absolutely. It's hard to see from here if he's got a natural angle to miss the cannon and other reds. But as you say, just concentrate on making the red. players would refuse that. Okay, he was uncertain where the cue ball was going to go, but he's lost the first two frames, and playing it like that, driving that red into other reds, he was never certain to get it safe, and he hasn't. Yeah, I can only assume he was canning another reds, and he was going to get no position from potting it. Hmm, well, only trying to squeeze that in. Now there's a chance for Ali here. His first real chance, you would say. Although he had a chance in the first frame. But not a chance as good as this. Just got in there, John, and look how lively they are when they catch those jaws at pace. One. It was a nice shot, controlled it well. That wasn't a gimme. You've just seen your opponent win the first two frames the way Ronnie did. One good positional shot here, I feel. You play for an area somewhere in between the blue and pink to have a choice of reds. Well, it's come way short with that one. Mm. I suppose you could put it down to lack of table time, but he's not hit that well at all. And no easy red to go at. Good recovery, he could have done with a little bump, but hang on. Has he finished perfect on the green? He'll settle for that. Yeah, it was a nice pot. Found the path back up to the bulk here, and it looks to be dead straight on the screen. A nice angle just to drop on the reds here. And 
played for the area I talked about a minute ago, mm. in between the blue and pink. Nine. Now, I would say he has to win the frame from this visit. Not only for to win the frame, but to give himself confidence for the rest of the match. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. I know the reds are nicely spread, but he's desperate to get a good position on the blue. As well, this cue ball keeps travelling these distances. You can always run out of position. Yeah, we know the pink doesn't pot to the left corner. I don't know if it pots to the right corner. Doesn't look like it, so... Yeah, as you say, it's not straightforward, this break. He hit that very well. That was a great shot. Pink was just off straight. The, sorry, the green was just off straight, so... He had to force the angle there. Yeah, and if he can just get past the pink for this red to the left corner, he may be able to get the black on his spot. Well, it looks as though he could. Would he deem the black a little bit too difficult? This is where we say that when he gets these opportunities now, he's got to... We know what he's capable of. He's played superbly throughout this tournament. He's playing the right shot. Playing for the black. Nice. It's all about sending a message to your opponent, John, isn't it? If he makes a, makes a mistake, then you're going to win the frame one visit as well. Yeah, it's uh, a bit of a mind game, is snooker. And now he's got that black, and it looks as though it's available into both corners. What a chance this is to get his first frame on the scoreboard. And get right in over his shoulder here. Twenty-seven. Beautifully cute as well. 34. So, so far, so good. He's cueing the ball nicely. His first couple of positional shots were a little bit astray, but he's got pinpoint control now. 35. What we have got, John, in this final is probably. We all know how, how well Ronnie strikes the ball, but Ali.